Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. In this tutorial, we are going to construct a press tool assembly in Autodesk Inventor. In this, we will make multiple parts and then assemble it. First, we will make the top plate, then the bottom plate, then guide bush and the pillar. So this is the top plate, this is the bottom plate, this is guide bush and this is pillar. So let's get started with today's tutorial. Go to new. First we will go to standard part in millimeter and go to create. First we will make the top plate. So go to 2D sketch. Select the exit plane. <coughs> it will be the top plane. Now go to rectangle command and select the two point center rectangle. From this center point, make a rectangle of 250 width and length of 150. Okay. Now go to fillet command and give a fillet of 10 mm. Select these edges. Similarly these two. Now these two and this is the last. Okay. Exit from this command. Now go to 3D model and select extrude command. Extrude it up to 30 mm. Okay. Now select the top face and go to create sketch. Now select the circle command and make a circle over here of dia 50. The dimension from top edge will be 50 mm. And go to vertical constraint, select the center point of the circle and select the center point here. Okay, now this is fully constrained sketch. Now finish sketch and select the extrude command extrude the circle at a distance of 90 mm and ok now select this face once again and go to create sketch this time go to cent cent uh, two point center rectangle from here Select the con construction geometry and select the center point. Make a rectangle over here. Okay, this is a reference rectangle. Now go to dimension. From this side, this is at 30. So this side also 30 will be maintained. Similarly, from this side, it is 30. Okay, this also 30. So it makes sketching easy. Go to circle command. Here, make a circle of dia 25. Similarly, dia 25. Okay, switch off this construction geometry. Make dia 25. And here also dia 25. Okay, now select this circle and this circle and switch off the construction and make them normal geometry. Okay, now finish sketch and go to extra command, select the top face, make the window, it will by default select these circles. As you can see it extruding outward but we want to uh, cut profile over here. So go to cut and ok. Now we will assign the color to this. From here we can assign blue wall paint. Ok. Now save this. We have already made a folder for this. 
press tool assembly I'll make one more folder in this new press tool assembly okay now this is our top plate and save it now for next go to new take the standard part in millimeter and go to create <coughs> now from here go to start 2d sketch and select the exit plane now go to rectangle command from center point make rectangle same dimension 250 tab 150 in the same rectangle make one more rectangle of dimension here 30 and here 30 okay this is for hole now select the inner rectangle and make it a construction geometry okay now again go to circle command and make a circle over here of 25 similarly 25 over here at all ends of the rectangle make circle dia 25 ok this is not matching or delete this and make one more from this end point 25 mm. ok now similarly make here a circle of dia 50 and give the dimension from top end 50 mm to align this circle go to vertical constraint select this point and select the center point it is fully aligned now go to 3d model and select the extrude command select the inner profile and make an extrude of 30 mm and ok in this case we have forgot to give the radius on edges so no issue go to fill it here give the radius of 10 mm and give the radius over here here and this is last ok and apply <coughs> now go to home view now give this a uh, color of will give steel or silver you can give silver and save it this is the bottom plate bottom plate ok now we are going to make the guide bush for guide bush go to new you can just uh, turn off these parts which we have made this also this also guide bush and pillar we are going to make okay so here go to new take a standard part in millimeter select the 2d sketch and select the top plane go to circle command here make a circle of dia 40 and one circle of dia 25 okay escape this circle is not lying at the center point so drag it now this is fully defined go to 3d model and select the extrude command select the inside profile and from here give us a metric extrude the dimension of this extrude will be 
60 mm and ok now we will give the chamfer select the chamfer command select this outer edge rotate the view and select this bottom edge the chamfer will be of 2 mm at 45 degree ok go to home view now define its color here we will give uh, copper polished this copper polished ok now save it save it as guide bush and save ok now exit from this and close this also now we will make this pillar go to new take a standard part in millimeter and go to create now select the 2d sketch and the top plane select the circle command from this center point make a circle of dia 25 go to 3d model select the extrude make a symmetric extrude dimension will be 200 and ok select this top edge and go to chamfer of 2 mm rotate the view here also chamfer of 2 mm and ok now from this select we will select here skid plate ok for this profile you can save it as pillar and save ok now all child parts are ready now we have to make the final assembly for assembly go to new here go to assembly domain and select the standard assembly in millimeter and create now go to place here we will select this new press tool assembly folder first we will place the bottom plate open place it over here escape go to home view ok now to make the whole assembly constraint we will match origin of this plate with the origin of complete assembly ok these are origin of assembly and this is origin of bottom plate ok now go to constraint select the yz plane of assembly and yz plane of bottom plate apply exit plane and exit plane apply similarly xy plane and xy plane apply ok go to edit relation and here flip or flush ok now this is not moving this is fully constrained in respect to assembly we will place it like this now go to place now we will place the guide bush and open place here two guide bush now escape go to constrain select the center line and select the center line of the circle apply the concentric similarly center line of this guide bush and center line of the circle apply now rotate this select this face of the guide bush and select the bottom face plus or escape you can do one thing select this guide bush and drag it upwards and this also drag it upwards now go to constraint select this face of guide bush and this face of second guide bush make them constraint 
okay now select this face of plate and the bottom face of guide bush constrain them apply now you can apply this this face and this face here it is not moving so click here on flush and apply okay cancel now we will assemble this pillar so place select the pillar open place pillar over here and second over here now escape now go to constrain select the center line and select center line of guide bush these are concentric apply similarly center line of pillar and center line of guard bush and apply now cancel drag them upward the pillar will pass completely from this plate so go to constrain select this face of pillar and this face of bottom plate flush and apply the pillar profile will come till here similarly we will do with this pillar select bottom face of pillar and bottom face of this plate and apply ok now these are assembled now what we have to do is we want to mirror these uh, components for mirror go to mirror components or parts select these two and select the guide push ok now it will ask you the mirror plane for mirror plane we will select the visor plane now the mirror relationship should be there and the new component should be grounded grounded means you don't want uh, you will not apply any further mates on these components and these will be freeze where they are placed so go to next and ok now if you move them they will not move they are freeze over here only now we will assemble the top plate go to place and we will select the top plate open place it over here now escape now from here go to constrain select this constraint circle center line and center line of this pillar flip it ok apply similarly escape from this you can see if you drag it it is still moving so we will align it now go to constrain select this circle center line and this center line and apply ok now select the top face of the top plate and this face of the pillar flush and apply now the complete assembly is constrained so this was a basic tutorial to how to make the parts in Autodesk Inventor and how to form the construction or how to assemble different parts in Autodesk Inventor. I hope you like the video. If you do that, please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.